Hello guys, this is Abhay Sharma and welcome to another tutorial from thinkingpenguin.com. In this tutorial, I am going to talk about nested loops in animation nodes. But not in detail, just wanted to show you how it can be done, which will probably give you an idea of how you can build complicated stuff if you wanted to. So based on the response I got from this tutorial series, I have decided not to go in more detail because I guess it's fairly complicated and counterintuitive for new users. Alright, so in the past tutorial I have invited all of you to try to create a 3D grid with loops. So let's get started. I'm gonna scale down the cube and apply the scale. I'm gonna create three loops for 3x3x3 three by three by three grid one loop in each direction so I'm gonna rename this loop to X now we need to generate proper vectors in 3d space to represent a 3d grid so let's create a blank vector list next we need a list of objects which will be positioned on those vectors I will select the cube now let's import this data into our loop as parameters For iterations and instances, uh, let's set this to 5 and 125 for now. Create another loop and rename it to Y or whatever you want. Now we need to import vector list, object list and index from X loop. So let's create proper inputs. We will repeat this process once again. Now we will create one more loop which will basically position our cubes on 3D grid. This time we will use iterators and import vectors and objects. But I cannot connect vector lists because right now it's blank. So let's create an append to list node. Connect vector list to list. Now connect the index to vector. This is where the magic will happen. I will connect all the indexes to this. That's it. Now we just need a transform output to see the result. Alright, that's the 3D grid created by nested loops.
For controlling the number of iterations and instances, I will create an integer node. Let's set this to 5. By the way, you can change the instance number and see exactly how this loop is working. Create a math node and set the mode to power and set the value to 3. Alright guys that's it for this tutorial, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next tutorial.